So this quote comes from not a famous person, but somebody I really respect and look up to, someone I like. Um, it's a guy called Barry Gibson. Barry, shout out to you, sir. Um, we was at a funeral uh, together, my grandma's funeral, and he came over and started talking to me. And it it was, it, it, what he said was wonderful. And I thought, do you know what? I've got to write this shit down. He said so many good things. He's a he's one of my one of my friends' dads, and he's he's been through a lot. His 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 first wife passed away when he was forty seven, and so he's he's seen a lot. He's experienced a lot. He's had a lot of hair, had a lot of pain, and so anybody like that that's been through that sort of situation circumstance, we can learn a lot from. We can not dig into the pain, but you you can. You can definitely appreciate your life and definitely appreciate what you've got when you speak to somebody who has basically lost his loved one, his, well, his, his mother, the mother to his children at 47 years old. And so I can't ever comprehend what he's been through. And therefore, what he says and how he thinks has a is very, very weighted. And so I've got to respect everything he says. I've got to listen to everything he says because I don't want to experience it at all. I never want to experience it, but I want to learn and educate myself and I want to see parts of his life through his eyes by talking to him. And something he said was very profound and I thought, I've got to share it. And he's sim it's very, very simple, but it's so true and it's so bloody good. It's not the years you live. It's the life you live in the years. I was like, fuck, Barry, what? what? Say it again, buddy. What do you, whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, mate, you know, I've got a podcast. I'm going to say it. I, I, let me write this down again. How the hell did you articulate that so good in like two sentences? It's not the years you live. It's a life you live in the years. I was like, ah, oh, mate, it's beautiful. Because most people, we, we look at a life being successful or not successful, I suppose, depending on the years of the experience they have. And it shouldn't be like that. It, somebody lives to 90 and never goes out of a room and doesn't do anything, doesn't uh, impact humanity, doesn't, doesn't make the world a better place. Is that a, a life well lived? No. But somebody who dies at 47, like Barry's wife, and has a profound impact on their kids, on Barry, on people around them. That's a life well lived. So it's not the years, it's what you do in those years. And so it doesn't matter if you live to 80 or 40. It matters how you fill those years, what you do in those years. And that was a real eye-opener for me because I want to make a difference. I want to make sure the world's a better place once I leave. And I'm thinking, well, I need to let you 100 and blah, 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 blah. No, I don't. I just need to do more in the years that I have right now. And so it was, it was profound. Let me say that again. It's not the years you live. It's the life you live in the years. Barry Gibson. Take a fucking bow, man. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I loved it. And yeah, it was a game changer for me. All right, my friends. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you on Monday morning. Ta-da.